with the evolution of the company and having to take on new ingredients and new recipes and things like that, working with different companies, working with different collaborations, all of that, it's really brought us to a place now that I never thought Flagship would go. Flagship's been a major part of my life for the last six years. Um, honestly, within the last year and a half, now I've, I've been able to do this for uh, full time. And, you know, we've made so many different products. We've gotten to work with so many different people. We've transitioned from what I thought was going to be Flagship to what it is today. And it, it's become this, this completely different thing. And it's been absolutely amazing to watch happen. And it, I, it wouldn't be... It's not just because of us, it's because of you guys. It's those that support us. And we look at where we are now and we think about how long ago Black Ship came out, but you know, sometimes we sit down and start working and realize that it's really just begun. At a certain point, we really wanted to start growing our repertoire. Um, we had these products that were you know, these Borax, Sunflower, Lecithin products, they were good, but those have their limitations at a certain point. So what we really wanted to do is, we we really wanted to start creating products that were going to be of a higher caliber, um, higher quality, higher consistency, which lends itself to, of course, larger markets, um, things like that. And so we originally were planning to take what we were doing um, and create some new products that were gonna go through a lab. Um, that's where Streamline, uh, our Streamline line of products really came into uh, full focus. Um, we created a recipe that worked great for us. We sent it to a lab um, and that was originally created with our traditional oil base. Um, happy accident with that though was that that oil base actually rinsed out with water. We were looking at possibly doing a gel, doing something like that, but we made an oil base that really, you rinse it with water comes completely out and it works as a great medium oil base. The original matte paste came into that. The other streamlined products came after it. You know, those have had multiple varies, variances, uh, changes over time, but um, we've gotten it now to where we feel that those are very solid products that can also be very easily made, very easily scaled, um, so that we're able to provide that to multiple people uh, across the world. Um, it's also provides more convenience even than the handmade did which in the sense that it allows for easy washability easy scooping things like that things that the customer really wants whenever they look for a hair product um, we've also been able to with that as we've grown our repertoire build out into creating a lot of private label options we saw that you know we were getting pretty good at formulating. We would be able to get to a final product within two to three batches. We know our ingredients well enough to where somebody comes to us with an idea. They come to us with what their final product needs to look like. They're able to, of course, give us that. If there's a special set of uh, ingredients, we can work with that as well. And then give them a finalized product. That has evolved even further now to where we're able to do in-house label uh, work, um, able to do all sorts of different things for the customer. And it's really become a very important part of our process. Past that, we also saw that we wanted to try, especially with us having our new warehouse, uh, that we would possibly have like a storefront. And while that still is in our long-term goals of having a space where people can come in and not only pick up our products, but pick up others, we've been able to expand that online. Uh, so we pick up some of, the, um, some of the major brands that are in the homebrew market. We try to stay true to that. Uh, we keep the handcrafted lines of a couple of the pro uh, companies that we make for. Um, we are always looking for new options for that as well because we try to listen to what the customer says, uh, what they find to be good, and then add that to our Limitless Mercantile. Past that, we also saw the need that we wanted to create more of a seasonal type of product for our customers, and that gave birth to the Four Seasons um, where we're able to provide something that fits each season not just in the type of product it is but the fragrance that comes along with it those types of things that really create a reminiscent uh, experience for an individual whenever they try them and so right now we're about to go into equinox um, we've been had polar for the winter months and so um, if you haven't checked those out would love you for to check them out because they give us uh, an opportunity to really give something to the market that otherwise is not uh, 
out there sometimes. So as we started really getting into uh, more of these different ingredients that we see in the cosmetic industry, you know, really trying to get down to the nitty gritty of what a lot of these companies are using um, and implementing them ourselves. Because once again, we need that for our resume whenever it comes to making stuff for other people. Um, we came up with Blackwater. It was a very interesting idea. We saw that there was a need for our line to have a product that was extremely easy to use. Um, added a foundation to a lot of our other products. Um, people want a pre-styler. They want something that can add that foundation. And we were like, why not make a product that can do not only the pre-style, but also finish a product as well. The really interesting thing about these, this, this product and the ingredients is, once again, we make a lot of water-based and this is probably our most water-based, uh, hence black water. Uh, it probably has the highest concentration of water out of all of our products, which translates to then having wonderful amount of uh, ease in use. Uh, it's like a lotion. It goes right into the hair real nice and easy. Uh, but that creates issues in the sense that it can be harder to cause everything to stick together. We then had wanted to make sure that our product had hold. Uh, and so we didn't want it to be something that says it pre-styles, holds, and it didn't. So we decided to use um, castor wax once again for the fact that it has some thickening properties. It also is once again a very hefty uh, wax in the sense that it does not um, melt whenever it gets into heat, which once again, we're in Houston, we have humidity, heat. We want to make sure that the product's resilient. Um, from there, we also wanted to provide some of that loose texture that was necessary and so with that what we do did is once again went to kaylin as our stand-in clay um, we wanted to make sure that the it was a fine enough texture and that's what kaylin uh, is able to provide um, we also used activated charcoal in the recipe as well because it adds a little bit of dryness um, it adds more matte qualities to the product too um, to help cause things to bind, we use PEG-40 hydrogenated castor oil. Um, it's one that's used in almost, honestly, a, a very large amount of cosmetic products out there today. Uh, and it, it works as an emulsifier. Um, we also use rice bran oil because we found that it was a lighter oil, um, but it still provided some benefits for the hair and the scalp. So after we've taken all those ingredients and blended them together to make a low level emulsion, uh, we have a proprietary blend of ingredients that we use um, that can't really share exactly what's in it, but it has uh, PVP and some other things, and that's what really causes black water to become what it is. This ingredient, of course, is completely uh, safe. It's something that is in all of um, a, a lot of hair products, and so it's just got the right ratios that we've been able to figure out so that we're able to make a product like black water that um, holds well and then of course, is able to blend with that large amount of water that we mentioned. Um, past that, once that's all blended together, we then go into adding our uh, fragrance and our, of course, preservatives, which in this case was against phenoxyethanol, um, caprylyl glycol, and sorbic acid. Um, and then we wanted to get a give a, a fragrance that, you know, it's kind of a classic one that we've always liked. Um, so we went with the mahogany teak wood, a little bit of um, that teak wood. We tried to down it down a little bit because it can get a little strong, but um, that's the main fragrance for it. It's not essential oil blend, uh, but we do offer the black water in both our dark citrus rose as well as um, a couple other scents on rotation. So you have plenty of options with that. So once again, now that everything has been brought together from our ingredients list, we have with black water and uh, extremely proud of it. It's actually taken first place in uh, our best selling products as of late. Um, of course, Black Ship still holds that title, but black water is a strong contender. But what it provides you is really easy uh, pre-styling. You'll put it into your hair, you'll blow dry it in. That's the preferred method. You can just let it air dry and it'll give you a little bit lower volume. Uh, but you should expect that to really give you a strong foundation that then you can use in pretty much any other type of product on top of. I've used it with oil-based, I've used it with um, different types of pomades, Black Ship itself, um, but it is really going to shine the most whenever you mix it with a product that's on the more matte clay side because it really enhances it, it adds a stronger foundation, and it really gives you a style that is going to hold up in just about anything.
and really making Blackwater has shown us shown me how much we've really evolved as a company. So when I come into work in the morning, I'm genuinely excited to see what we're going to go uh, go into next. I mean, we make hair products, but we have so many different ways that we can go with this, making things for other people, making things for ourselves, and we're really excited for what the future holds. Um, this job gives me the flexibility to be with my family and gives me the opportunity to spend the appropriate time on the priorities, the things that we all should be focusing on. And so flagship has really given me a life that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to have. And I really couldn't do this without you guys, the customers, because you're the backbone. You're what supports us at flagship. And I am truly appreciative to all of you that have taken your time, uh, your money and helped us build this small business. But uh, the thing that I'm really excited about the thing that keeps me moving is never really sure what's going to come next. Good enough. Yeah.